Hello, I'm Pamela, the creator of Yoga to Sleep, and I'm here to help you get better sleep for the best life. Today we'll be talking about circadian rhythms as a part of our Sleep Basic series, and I'm going to just dive right in and talk about circadian rhythms, circadian circle. What does that mean for us in our sleep? So circadian rhythm is a 24-hour sleep-wake cycle. Um, some of us uh, kind of know that, we learned that in biology, but I want to kind of go in depth about what that is and what to expect when we're talking about rhythms. And in our previous video, uh, when we talk about sleep cycles. So as we cycle through the five stages of sleep, um, those are cycles and they are about 90 minutes each. So if we're getting a good night's sleep, and typically that's seven to nine hours of sleep a night, we cycle through these stages uh, every 90 minutes or so, um, you know, throughout the evening. And so we want to keep that in mind when we're talking about circadian rhythm and what that means for us getting adequate sleep with regards to the stages of sleep. So circadian rhythm or our sleep-wake cycle is this 24-hour internal clock that cycles between alertness during the day and sleepiness uh, during the evening. So we, we have this kind of internal clock that is actually housed in the brain, in the hypothalamus part of the brain that regulates our sleep-wake cycles, which is amazing. The body's amazing, right? So this experience of, um, of our sleep-wake cycle is important to our physical, mental, and emotional well-being, and, and it responds to those changes with regards to light and darkness. And so what I try to do is um, I try to allow myself to get up with the sun as the light comes in. Um, and then when it gets darker, I try to start you know, winding down, doing less, and allowing my body to get that sense of circadian rhythm activity, allowing my hypothalamus to do its job, basically. So what would affect that? I mean, we probably already know uh, that it would be blue light, computers. If you bring your laptop or your tablet or your phone to bed and it's 11 and 12 o'clock, there's gonna be some adverse effect um, to your circadian rhythm. And so often when we're dealing with, when I have clients um, that I'm coaching uh, around sleep, and even in my yoga therapy practice, they're like, I can't get sleep, but I know they're, they have their phones <laughs> and, and I'm guilty, um, you know, I'm guilty of that as well. Or tablets in the bed or the TVs in the, room, in, the, in the bedroom. And that's just kind of consistent blue light, which keeps us awake. There are some programs that you can put on your computer like Flux. Um, iPhones have the automatic, you know, dimming, changing the blue light um, status on your phone or tablet to kind of counteract that. Um, but we really need to get in the habit of not bringing all of those electronics to bed and allowing that bed, the bedroom, to be the sanctuary for what it's supposed to be. Sleep, sleep and sex, those two things alone. And I know that's easier said than done, but that's kind of one of the ways that we can get to improving our sleeps and really having more of these 90 minute full on cycles of the five stages of sleep. So I hope that helps. So we'll be uh, bringing more uh, sleep basic videos to you and uh, have a wonderful day. I hope this helps. Bye.